Okay, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. I guess because I don't have my stuff set up, I have to tell you that it is uh, May 24th of 2023, and it's 9.52 a.m. I'm using, this is Windows 10. Uh, I finally went in and did some uh, settings that I should have done. Actually, the settings were set, and an update or something, I think, wiped out some of them. Um, so this is a Windows 10 computer with um, one monitor, and I removed Manicam. going to sneeze. I think. <sighs> uh, so, um, I don't have Manicam on here. And anyway, um, there was just an update to, this is for Windows 10. It was just an update that uh, kind of a semi-important one since, you know, Windows 10 is going to die one of these days. I'm just using the built-in camera software, or the camera, and uh, I made a video, I think the last video I think was made with this way and it works okay but I don't have the ability now, I did put OBS on here and it it's fighting me in one area I forget what it is it's something I just need to learn how to do the setting um, I Tried make I tried putting the my uh, cell phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy Note Nine. I uh, tried setting it up there and to to use that because I would have uh, anyway. And I was just saying. It was up there, and I, I wasn't happy with the location. Uh, well, let's see. I could show you. It was sitting up there on a thing like this, and it, you know, <laughs> I reached up. I said, you know, I need to move that, and then it, the cell phone started to uh, fall. It didn't, but it was, you know. So I'm not going to be using that, except I will use it here. You know, just sitting here where I just reach over and pick it up and where I don't do any moving around over there. Uh, so, so, I ended up making a, uh, I think I did make a second video here with this. Then I couldn't find it. <laughs> because I started, there was a whole bunch of directories for Manicam. And I checked to make sure there wasn't anything in them, and I deleted those directories. And then I, I couldn't find this. I don't know. So this will, I'll be. This is going to tell me a little something. So Windows 10 working good. Um, oh, I also mentioned in the video that uh, yeah, I take medication morning and night and this is the 24th and this morning you know the 21st was there and I'd taken the morning out of the 21st I hadn't done the and then so here's the 24th that means the 22nd I didn't take morning you know my morning meds or night I didn't on the 23rd I didn't take my not good Uh, over here I missed 
after I made one of the videos that you are able to see, I spent about four hours over here. I mean, I, I changed everything. I went from two monitors to one monitor. Uh, it's a really good monitor that I haven't used really the way I should. I haven't used it very much uh, because um, it's a uh, Usonic, is it? Okay, wait a minute. Okay. I guess I ripped those pages out of there. No, here it is, way back here in the middle of this notebook. It's a ViewSonic 27 inch, uh, 1080p, and it's set up for USB 3.1. Uh, and it, the thing I don't like about it is, you know, on your back of your most of your monitors, your HDMI and, D and display port and all those things, you just, you know, plug it straight in. On this one, it's underneath a, a, an underneath an area that goes out and it's underneath it, so you have to try to hit it. And I'm not very good at uh, doing that. So what I, I do with this monitor is I lay it over, of course, and then I hook all the cables up. And there's, you know, HDMI and all, and there's a display port. There's a USB, several USB-C type things coming out of it. What else is there? Anyway, a bunch of stuff like that. So it's a pain in the butt, but it uh, supports uh, USB 3 and you can come out of there and go right into a monitor, well, into the computer. We're out of, from the computer out into it, whatever. So it's, it's really pretty nice, but uh, I hardly ever use the two on the side, 3.0, uh, micro, is it, yeah, micro, I think, many. <clears throat> um, because I always had the monitor up against another monitor, you know, because I had monitors side by side. Anyway, I'm finally going to give this thing some credit, I think. But, <clears throat> so I came over here and had problem getting the sound. And that's because I had a whole bunch of devices hooked up and all this kind of stuff. And, and anyway, I had trouble just getting the sound and, you know, any kind of sound out of it. <clears throat> My throat's going again. Um, so, um, I messed with the uh, sound. And I, I've got, finally got the sound going. That took me a while. It shouldn't have, but it did. And uh, then I can't get, you know, the, uh, what I have over here with, I can't make the video and have audio. So I've, I haven't spent any time working on that this morning since I got up, but that needs to be worked on. Um, it's supposed to rain for the next three days, and if... Um, if we have some good rain, I'll go out with my cell phone and record, record some of that. I haven't been doing very well with this, you know, it's an, my daughter gave it to me, an expensive cell phone. Actually, this one, you if you watched my videos, I was using the, uh, she gave me a, Samsung Galaxy uh, Note 10. This is a Note 9. Okay, for the... She bought three of these. One for her, one for her son, who lives with her grown son, and I think maybe a second 
or an additional one. I don't know why. She does use her phone to make, that's how she makes her living. Um, so she gave me that and I never had a cell phone break before or anything like that. Uh, the battery went dead on that one. I told you that story. You can find it back anyway. Um, so uh, she came and I told her I don't need, you know, I don't need an expensive cell phone. Just being the basics, you know. All of these things are terrific, the things they do. Um, she um, she said, well, I said, just do you have, because I knew she would have a bunch of ones that, you know, older ones. That, and they just bring me a real basic. I just need, you know, to be able to get the, when they send a thing, you know, the code you have to enter when to prove who you are and that type of stuff. So she said, oh, okay. So she came and she brought me this, uh, Samson Galaxy Note 9. When she bought this, it was either 1100 or 1250 I think, dollars. I think it was 1100 you know. It was more than the, uh, so. Um, Oh, I've been having a little bit of, I haven't had much time to spend, uh, which with all my other cell phones that I've had, a number of Motorola, Motorola Stylus, and a whole bunch of others. And I had, well, cell phones before they were cell phones, you know what I mean? Um, uh, with this one, I think I need to read something about it. I mean, or whatever. I never had any trouble. I didn't have any trouble with the uh, Samsung 10. But I'm trying to hold this to make a video or something. And I guess, let's see, on this side, this would be... Okay, well, no, this would be the... I'm not sure which one I... I hit a button and that... Uh, kicks me out of the video mode, or I mean, kicks me out. So I gotta find some way to, I need to practice to, uh, so I don't hit the on and off button. And I think I also hit the, uh, what is that? And see, this is up and down. No, okay, this must be, is that the on and off, or I don't know. Anyway, I gotta figure that out. I just hit it again. <laughs> I do want to take some video, just to see the video and just to play with some of the things. And the other night, uh, my son had to go to the hospital. There was about 15. There was police officers. There was EMS. There was firemen. <laughs> and right out there, outside the door, right, right over there outside my front door, I looked at it real quick because stuff was going on. But that was something I wanted, you know, uh, a planet or a star uh, lined up or something. It was, but I just it couldn't register because they got other things we had to take care of. And uh, my son had to go to the hospital, and then he came back. Um, the that night, late that night, he came back. And that was a disaster. And I had that happen before. Um, needed to send a um, Uber to pick him up. And I did not, at that time, I did not know how to send an Uber. I really thought, you know, I hadn't thought about it. I thought, well, I'd, I'd ridden by Uber a few times. No problem. And, uh, but then I was like, when that happened, I was like, uh, how do I send an Uber? Because it wants to come here, you know? How do I send the Uber to go to the hospital? Or not go, it's not like they had to drive down from here, you know, the closest Uber to the hospital or whatever. And uh, uh, I couldn't figure out how to do it. So 
my oldest, not my oldest daughter, but Hillary, uh, she got on her cell phone and she hadn't, I don't think she'd done that either, but she figured it out in just a few minutes and did it. So then we have a situation again where he was at the hospital. Uh, my ex-wife and I, neither one of us, and my grown son, none of us have driver's licenses and she's in a wheelchair and I, with my arthritis is so bad I wouldn't be able to look back to see what's behind me, you know, of course there's mirrors, but, and now you have cameras, I guess, and cars and stuff, but, uh, anyway, uh, so this popped up again, and then the nurse this time was really great at the hospital, uh, because she kept us informed, and my ex-wife talked to her and said, you know, in the past, uh, the hospital there, JPS, has just released our son and, uh, you know, sent him out the door with nothing. They had to give him a gown. When, I mean, they had to give him one of their gowns that are split up the, you know, the back uh, with no money. And one time they, uh, he had no money, no watch, no cell phone. Well, watch wouldn't hit and help him, but no cell phone, no money, and I'm not sure he remembered our phone number. I don't know the phone number here that, you know, for Darlene. I I don't even know my cell phone number. I mean, I, I have it, you know. But anyway, he, uh, so it was, he goes to the hospital, they send him out, uh, they don't notify us. They, uh, like one time they gave him a uh, free bus pass for the day or whatever to get home. And of course he shouldn't have been, you know, shouldn't have been riding the bay bus. Well, he was also barefoot, so the bus refused to um, take him because he didn't have shoes on. And it took him two, at least two days to get home from that. He started walking eventually. And uh, ended up sleeping out on the pavement of uh, Walmart for, I don't know if it was overnight or for, I mean, it was just. But anyway, this nurse this time, you know, let us know when he got there because the Darlene called as the ambulance arrived yet. I said, I told her, you know, they're not going to be there yet, you know. And she called, then she called back. So then the nurse called back. Uh, then there was an exchange between the, between Darlene and the nurse. And then uh, Darlene told the nurse, you know, we've had trouble with JPS. Uh, they just sent him out the door with nothing. Take, took him days. He was walking down, a, you know, expressway or whatever when the police finally uh, located him you know trying to get home and uh, so she said well I'm working till 7 a.m. and she said I'll I'll call you when he's and so she so when we uh, oh so now I of course now I'm trying to okay he's ready to be picked up and I'm trying to do I couldn't figure it out, so we had to call Hillary, and Hillary had forgotten because that I guess I, I didn't know it. That was the first time she had done that, so then she was trying to how to do it again. She did it, of course, in just a few minutes, very five minutes, ten minutes. She had it taken care of, and the nurse there, you know, was waiting before they let Jimmy leave to go over to the entrance. You know, till the knew that she knew that the uh, Uber was on the way and how many minutes everything so. That nurse was uh, great, and now Darlene got her her first name and everything. And of course, they'd know what shift she worked and that kind of stuff. I told Darlene, please send an email or send a a note down thanking the nurse, saying how helpful she was and everything. Uh, Darlene didn't do it though. Uh, Darlene was interested in something else, playing her games. When I say games, you picture playing, I don't know, some fancy games or whatever. She plays solitary and other games like that. 
and uh, if uh, if I go in and try to talk to her about something, she's playing solitary or something like you know something like that. And it's the same like uh, a certain time is you know she gets up at a, basically a certain basically the same time and she goes messes with her computer for uh, a few hours and then uh, then she gets, it's time for. Uh, make a deal or whatever the t and then she watches those nonstop. But anyway, okay, this is twenty minutes. And I don't think I've accomplished anything. The okay, the thing is. Oh, by the way, Edge is that it? It's the one that nobody wants to use. Okay, not Edge. Tell me where? What? All right, which thing? It is. Maybe if I click settings, it'll tell me which. Uh, oh, probably down here it will. If I put the mouse over it. No, that's the inbox. Okay, where is it? Uh, okay, it doesn't appear to be down here in the uh, chipmunk. Maybe this is it. No, that's office. Anyway. Oh, I got so much to do, so little time. I'm 82, so I have very little time. Um, when I can get this working, where I can show you the screen, like I've done in the past for years or whatever, and whatever, when I can uh, do that, because this browser, I've refused to have it on here but they've really improved it, and they've got it well organized. And if you're interested in artificial intelligence or whatever that everybody's talking about, that people are going crazy talking about, and people are concerned about what's going to happen, is this artificial intelligence going to replace us? Or are they going to be like that movie a long time ago, I forget the name of that, where the Soviet Union's computers, you know, that are protecting the Soviet Union, it's now Russia, and then the United States is, you know, whatever, and they, these two systems, you know, are all set up to automate it, you know, to uh, take care of everything. And then these two computer systems decide, you know, decide, you know, the problem with Earth, and we can't really protect Earth because of these people and these people. So. <laughs> And people are actually kind of concerned about this artificial intelligence. But in this browser, how in the world can I find out which browser? Oh, I guess go to the uh, go to the search thing. Okay, where is the search here? I just say sign in. No. And what's this? Settings. What's this? I guess they're afraid to tell you the name of this browser because nobody likes it. Okay. Anyway. Okay. 23 minutes is long enough. I'm, believe me, I'm working on, I hope you get to see this because I, <laughs> I hope I didn't delete the directory or something that this is supposed to go into. Surely it would put it someplace else. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.